First of all, these kids are going to give you paper. Mm -hmm. Hi, my name is Sylvia Styles. I'm from Uganda. I'm a homeschool teacher in UAE. Please welcome to my channel. These are the things I wish you should know before coming to UAE as a homeschool teacher. Without wasting time, let's get into the video. So number one is the extra chores. So I think it is homeschool teacher slash nanny but they are not going to give you the extra money for the nanny work all for the other extra chores for example cleaning yes some teachers do cleaning you're teaching kids you are cleaning you are washing you are ironing and also taking care of the kids so you should ask for extra money ask for extra money for the extra work or th for the extra chores are we together so before coming talk to your employer about what exactly you are going to do make sure that you are all clear about what you are coming here to do well you are coming as a homeschool teacher that they are going to add you extra work well if you get um, a generous employer they are going to give you the extra money for the extra work they're like going to add you some money for cleaning or for taking care of the kids and stuff like that but if you're not so lucky enough some employers are like going to take advantage of you so speak up and tell them that exactly what they want you to do how much they are going to pay for you are they going to pay for the teaching only or for the extra chores as well so make sure you are clear about that before coming to work as a homeschool teacher so the second thing is that as a homeschool teacher you are expected to know everything you are expected to know all the like everything all the subjects you are going to be teaching everything so we have uh, kids that go to private schools the british schools here in uae and we also have kids that go to the like should i call them public schools yes public schools so you're going to find two yeah depends on which family where you are so where i work here right now i have like seven kids but only one kid goes to the private schools to the to a private school she's like fluent in english she knows how to read she knows how to write like she knows everything yeah it is not so hard to communicate with her it is not so hard yeah but the other kids they are in uh, public schools well they can speak yeah the speech is okay but writing and reading uh -uh. and remember the exams they do they do science they do mathematics all the like everything the exams are set in english so it is going to be a little bit hard for you you know because they have they are in higher grades but they cannot read they cannot write and the exams they do require them to read require them to write yes so be prepared for that and uh for the kids in pri in private schools yeah they can read and write but they have a lot of work mm -hmm, a lot of work so you're expected to know everything you're going to be helping with english with math with science uh, social studies history geography uh, computer chemistry everything like everything you have to come prepared to teach like everything yes another thing is coming here on a visit visa when you come here on a visit visa i think the visit visa is uh, two months you expect your employers to to work on your employment visa or your working visa and an emirates id within like one month or two months before your visa expires but when you reach here some employers are not going to like like they are not going to do uh, a work visa for you they are not going to get you an emirates id you're going to be here for like for all the years and the months you're going to be here without having a an emirates id without having a work visa which is 
like it is not good you're going to go in overstay and remember if they catch you or if you want to go back home when you're in overstay you are going to be banned for five good years without ever entering again in uae so be careful be mindful if you come here or if you came here on a visit visa make sure to remind your employers to get you on a working visa to get you an emirates id so another thing is the, about the off days do i get an off day no yeah that is one of the things that i regret so i did not talk to my employer about having an off day before coming here yes so when you come here like i said talk to your employer and be clear with what you want ask for an off day if you want one and see if they can grant you one or not so i don't think off days are common with the ugandans yeah a lot of my friends that i see don't have off days maybe it is because we did not like speak about it before coming here but some people do have off days uh, sundays saturdays they get off days maybe one day a week like that so if you want a an off day make sure to ask for it before coming here uh the second thing is that uh teaching these kids is uh could be a little bit hard because they are stubborn mm -mm. when i speak of stubborn i mean like the it is not what you are used to do too. they are not the kind of kids that you are used to in your home countries i think the kids from my home country i'm going to speak for myself they are like respectful they respect elders they listen and everything but here mama kids are not going to respect you mm -mm. no don't expect to be like treated as an adult as an elder as listen to you as a teacher as a what uh -uh. no and they are not punished you're not going to punish a kid in any form of way no 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 you if they do something to you you make sure like you tell their parents but even if you do they're not going to do anything about it yes expect to be given paper by these kids yes first of all with my experience they do not like to study mm -mm. studying is their worst nightmare schooling is white worst nightmare from waking them up to dressing them going to school coming back and then when they come back we usually teach them in the evening go through their homework yes they usually have homeworks on their laptops or ipads from the school yeah it is a tug of war yes station with them and another thing is that um it is a bit a little like i said it's a bit hard to teach them because they cannot relate to anything they cannot relate to anything they've never seen a plant grow they've never seen a seed grow they've never seen seen sorry they've never seen a plant grow they've never seen a seed growing they've never seen real soil uh, they don't know anything about germination about pollination some of them have never even seen real flowers so remember in science they are going to be talking about pollination about this about that about that animals insects diseases they are green about anything and it is hard to teach someone who cannot relate to anything yes so they cannot relate to anything at all you're going to be talking about lakes rivers a fish they have never seen um they don't know where apples come from they don't know where avocados come from they don't know fruits like they cannot relate to anything so it is a bit hard to teach kids that cannot relate to anything yes so those are some of the things that i wish you should know before coming to uae as a homeschool teacher if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up don't forget to like don't forget to share don't forget to comment and please subscribe to my channel let me know in the comment section if you'd like more content like this bye i'll see you in my next video